Hi, I'm Thelma. I'm the scientist in residence for River Edge Nature Center at the Cedarburg School District. And today we are going to talk about monarchs, migration, and milkweed. In the springtime, we have a lot of creatures that start migrating or moving back to Wisconsin. We often think about the birds migrating back and how uh, we get the robins that come back and swallows and hummingbirds and things like that. But there are a lot of other creatures that also migrate and sometimes we don't think about them. And one of the most spectacular migration stories is that of the monarch butterfly. Now you're probably familiar with the monarch butterfly. It's this beautiful orange and black and white butterfly that we have here. We see it a lot in the summertime. Um, but in the fall, they take off on a, just an amazing journey. They travel all the way down to central Mexico and they overwinter there. And then in the springtime, they come back. The monarch butterflies are on the move and they're gonna come back here to Wisconsin because this is one of their breeding grounds in the summertime. They come here, they find milkweed, um, which is the only plant that their caterpillars can eat, and then they lay their eggs on them. Any day now, the monarch butterflies are going to be showing up here in Wisconsin. And I want you to become part of that process of looking for them. There are projects that you can become involved with, citizen science projects, where you can help collect information and help provide that information to scientists who are studying the monarch butterflies and their migrations. And one of the really cool stories of this is a citizen science project called Journey North. Through Journey North, you can become a citizen scientist. All you have to do is track when you see the first monarch butterflies, or when you see the first monarch caterpillars, or even the first milkweeds. And you can put that information into Journey North. And what's really cool is they take all that information that gets collected across the United States, and they make it into these interactive maps that your data can become a part of. And so that way we can track, we can be able to see through watching those maps where the butterflies are showing up. Are they in Wisconsin? Are they in Minnesota? Um, or are they still farther south from us? Um, right now the monarchs are on the move. We've had a few days of rain, but now that it's clearing up, it's gonna get warm up. I'm sure we're gonna see the monarch butterflies soon. You too can become a citizen scientist. All you have to do is start observing. When do you see the first monarch butterflies in your neighborhood? When do you see the first monarch caterpillars? Did you find any eggs? Is the milkweed starting to grow? All these observations you can put into Journey North or other monarch citizen science projects. All right, so get out there, look for monarch butterflies and become a citizen scientist. Have a great day.